What's up, peoples? Welcome to another episode. Um, excuse me. I didn't expect to have some burps come out of nowhere. Here on the show, where awkward things happen randomly. Um, so uh, I was noticing that uh, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of talk in DCEU. I I found out a couple of days ago, I'm sure some of you have as well, that a lot of the movies got pushed back. And there's a lot of speculation. A lot of speculation that is because, you know, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Ben Affleck. Zack Snyder. Um, but let's watch Ping Pong Flicks as he talks about Ben Affleck open to return as Batman after the Flash. Restore the Snyderverse? Question mark. Let's see. All right. Ready and play. So it looks like there is still a chance that Warner Brothers is not closing the doors to the Snyderverse. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Something is happening if anything is happening at all. Now, what I mean by that is that with the recent Discovery merger, a lot of Snyderverse fans are clearly excited and wondering if Discovery is going to help restore the Snyderverse, which is essentially Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3. Now, the DC multiverse is incredibly vast and incredibly open, so it makes sense that you would leave doors open for every single iteration of DC, including the Snyderverse, perhaps, on HBO Max. But there were rumors before that the Flash movie that's coming out by Andy Muschietti is going to actually close the door on the Snyderverse, like Ben Affleck's Batman would die. But now Grace Randolph has new claims today. This is what she said. You crazy Snyderverse fans, how you managed to stay alive is incredible. I now hear Batflick does not die in The Flash after all, at least not the most recent cut. June 2023 and a Discovery merger is a long, long path indeed. We'll see what happens. So you're telling me there is a chance? Now a number of fans have claimed that all these changes, including the Flash's delay to June 2023, is due to the Discovery merger. Even though Deadline said that the delay was due to VFX and because of this COVID logjam. But there's also the Discovery merger that's coming up in which today, Discovery stockholders approved the $43 billion Warner Media merger. And the deal is about to be closed at the end of the second quarter of this year. Which also means that at this point in time, Discovery can't really say and can't really do anything about Warner Brothers just yet. Not until after it finalizes. So it could just be that a lot of all these decisions that are happening, including the delays, and maybe even Ben Affleck coming back, is probably not decided by Discovery just yet. In fact, Grace Randolph says credit should go where it's due. This was all shot and decided by by the current Warner Brothers leadership, which as far as we know, the current Warner Brothers leadership, including Ann Sarnoff, Toby Amarek, Walter Hamada, they really don't want anything to do with the Snyderverse. But that doesn't mean they didn't want anything to do with Ben Affleck as Batman. In fact, it seems like a long time now, but it was believed that they did really want Ben Affleck to make his Bat flick HBO Max series. Grace Randolph continued to update. I am not going to ruin the Flash movie, which seems awesome by the way. Michael Keaton is still the new Batman. The door is left open for Batflick to return at some point, maybe. Still no Henry Cavill. And again, this is as of now, the movie's over a year away. Michael Keaton is still the new Batman. So that really means that there is no major changes to the current DCEU. They still want Michael Keaton as the new Batman. It is clearly shown in the behind the scenes of Batgirl that Michael Keaton was working with a young Commissioner Gordon played by J.K. Simmons. Means that The Flash did spit out this new universe where Ben Affleck's Batman was essentially replaced by Michael Keaton. But the fact that Ben Affleck's Batman doesn't die 
and it leaves the door open that he's still alive within his own universe means that they haven't closed the door on the Snyderverse. Means the possibility, the chances, that the Snyderverse could continue, meaning Justice League 2 and 3, essentially that's when Batflick really should die, is left open now because he won't die in the Flash. So even if that means that they're not saying the Snyderverse will continue and that Zack Snyder will come back to produce Justice League 2 and 3, it doesn't mean that that door is closed, is what I guess is we're trying to say here. But I'm pretty shocked that Ben Affleck is open to come back. In fact, Grace Randolph said this. I was shocked as well, but he seems to have had a change of heart. Doesn't want to close the door entirely. And like all things in Hollywood, everybody changes. Some people say they're going to retire from acting, directing, composing, and they eventually come back. So it could be the same for Ben Affleck. I think maybe he's in a happier spot now and wouldn't mind putting the costume back on. He obviously had a lot of fun on the Flash set, so maybe he will enjoy being Batman a little bit more. And if and when, if ever the time ever comes that Zack Snyder could come back and direct his Zack Snyder's Just League 2 and 3, I think that will be an awesome thing. I want him to be able to complete his vision for the Justice League. But mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean he should or would want to take over DC. I think each director has their own vision and the DC multiverse is so vast, I think every director should have a shot at creating their own piece of work. Just like Matt Reeves, he had done a fantastic job on the Batman. No, and he didn't. That All right, universe. That's it. No. Definitely should continue. No. And of course it's kind of No. We're leaving the video there. I'm glad to hear that Ben Affleck is open to coming back because that's my favorite Batman still. But I don't want to hear nothing about Matt Reeves Batman. Um there's some videos that I'm gonna put out talking about Matt Reeves Batman because I have come to my conclusion on the movie. So stay tuned for that episode. But as you heard it here, speculation, you know? We don't really know what's really going on. Um, but one is hoping, and I am pretty sure that it's because they want Zack Snyder to uh, take over DC. Because this whole uh, let every director do whatever the fuck they want with our characters, uh, no thank you. No thank you. James Wan, yes, you can have some directors, you know, who are really good at what they do. You know, the one who directed, the lady who directed Wonder Woman, I forgot her name. James Wan for Aquaman, you know. But Matt Reeves, we got to talk about that one, bro. We got to talk about that one. I'm sorry. We're going to have to talk about that one on another video. On another video. But um, peace out, guys. Deuces. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, I'll see you on the next episode.